Hello, guys, and welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. I'm here, joined with Big Billy Vanapola, Tom the Hitman Curry. Can we get a round of applause, please, guys? Very ambiance. <laughs> and uh, my name's Jamie George, a.k.a. Poor Man's Vernon K. Didn't want to show up today, so I'm presenting. Here I am. Um, lads, we're going to start off with some questions. Uh, just a few thoughts from yesterday. What do you think, Curry? It's all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a physical game. Um, you know, it was re real physical, lots of big hits, big, big carries. Um, <laughs> Physical, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Bill, <laughs> Curry, <laughs> you've started poorly there, really. Right? Okay, anyway, Bill, um, let's go to the brains of the opposition. No, no, I, I agree with Curry. It was physical, um, but I think we did really well in terms of putting some points on the board early and then just kind of continuing um, the way we started off. So, um, yeah, great way to start the game and, and obviously end it on a high as well. What about Italy, Curry? They, they, they had played to they stuck at it, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. It was... It was you, know, you had to stick in it for the full 80 <coughs> minutes. I, I, you know, I don't think the scoreline probably fully reflected how, how well Italy did play. And, you know, credit, credit to us as well. We, we, we did have to break them down. Can I just thank um, Tom Curry's media manager because he's incredibly well trained. Yeah. Giving a very straight, straight <laughs> down the line answer. Well done, Tom Curry. Uh, lads, let's, uh, let's, let's have a little look about a man who's done some form at the minute, isn't he? We're just, uh, we've got a clip of him here. Look at the big guy go. He's playing well at the minute, Curry, isn't he? Very well. Nice haircut. Look at those quads. Flying, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's um, obviously he's very powerful, but he's quick too. Yeah, to run That's, that in from where he Can we just briefly talk about what happens here? <laughs> oh, oh. Dan Carter, forward pass. If you <laughs> see that from the side, it was <laughs> you could Left pass though. Right. Very good pass. Oh, man. There it is. Um, but that wasn't my highlight of the day. My highlight of the day was this. Bill, can you talk us through it, please? Oh, not this. <laughs> <laughs> see the drop. Do you see the drop? If you. It's all about no, the drop. It's, it's it? just the option it's all about that, that, that chase, I had on. Huh? Um, obviously, we got a penalty out of that, so I'd say it was a good outcome. Yeah. Um, we tapped and went, and unfortunately, we didn't get anything from it, but we were just building pressure. Did you? Um, where did you get your inspiration from? Um, that kick, grubber kick, maybe, um, let's say England, Australia, 2016, maybe, I don't know. Second no, test, definitely not that. I think second test, I believe it was in watching, Melbourne. Well, we've got a lot of... Um, you know, uh, AFL coaches with us at the moment, so I've been working on it. You always got to stay on top of um, all your skills, and obviously that was the one I, I deployed at the time. Deployed, okay. <laughs> Fair enough, big guy. Right, we're yeah, into some fans' free. questions. That's, we're into some fans' <laughs> questions. Um, Curry, what's the first thing you drink after a game? That's from Alexandra Jane Lee. Thanks, Alexandra. Uh, yeah, well, England at a shape, but if I don't have a shape, probably, probably a glass of milk. A glass of milk. Milk. Um, we have this really nice milkshake after the game. You know the protein, berries. I think they put. They definitely put ice cream in there. It tastes lovely. It is lovely. Yeah. Same. I have. I have actually had it. Uh, right. This is actually to me, Jamie. What's it like for a number two to score a try at Twickenham? It's great. Yeah. It really is great. Um, Did you score? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. First Sorry. try, mate. More, more uh, tries. Yeah, it doesn't really count. count, but I'm going to take it. Uh, so, Freya Longdon, thank you for your question. <laughs> um, right, this is from Karen Lane. Karen, thank you. Uh, what's the most unusual ritual in the dressing room before a game, Bill? Um, I haven't really seen anyone. Everyone's pretty standard, like yeah. strapping. Um, that's about it. Yeah, to be fair, the change rooms aren't as intense as people no, think, no. I don't think. Everyone's got their headphones on. One of those little massage guns. Yeah, yeah, has. yeah. Everyone they're loves always, them, eh? Yeah. They're, the, they're the most recent thing. But yeah, there's not too many rituals left, sock, right, sock. It's not really a thing anymore. Right, Denise Bucket. Jamie, were your mum and dad games teachers at a school in Henley in the late 70s? They were, actually, yeah. Can't remember what the school was called, but uh, I'll give them a shout out. I'll let them know you asked. <laughs> what kind of show is this? The host <laughs> asking questions. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Questions. Questions. Okay, hang on, hang on. This is from Eric. Cheers, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Um, who buys the first round and who doesn't? Um, well, it's hard at England because we're lucky. To, uh, <laughs> Why is we're it? Lucky well, tell us. We drink a lot of uh, um, healthy stuff like protein and stuff I mentioned earlier, but no, like we, we'd have a beer after a game. Yeah, yeah, Who's, but. Uh, if we went out, for example, oh, if we went pub, out, we went to a pub. As I put a team, myself up there as buying the you fresh. You do buy. You do. You are very generous. Um, lads, let's let's talk about who doesn't. Who would we never see buy a drink? 
Yeah. Is this like a new part of the idea? Yeah, it's my humble contract. It's my humble sale, but... It's probably because I can't. Is it? No. You're doing fine, man, I think. Now, come on, Curry, who's a... Who's a bit stingy, who's a bit tight? Uh... Give us a name. Uh, what no, you I can't. Because I want you to back me up. You're going to meet a trainer, so you've got to name a name. I need you. Name a name. We're not moving on until you name a name. Who's not buying a drink? Probably Forda. That's massive. That's massive. Oh my goodness. Actually, I'll retweet that one. I'll retweet that one. Okay, this is from Jackie Dobb. What are you doing tonight, Kiss? Who, who's who? Curry or? Well, I don't know, but should we give it to Curry as a yeah, single man? It. Tom Curry's single, by the way, guys. Yeah, um, He's available. Very, um, very, 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 <laughs> very single. <laughs> single. Um, um, nah, I'm, I'm Instagram not title, was it Thomas Curry 7 if you're interested. Uh, DMs are available. What are you doing tonight, Curry? Nothing, if anyone's free, you know, hit me up. Mate, this is not a I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay. No, no, we're just... Okay, uh, we're gonna, okay. We're gonna go... Oh, no, let me, let me, let me answer that properly. Okay, okay. We're what gonna go... To, uh, curry, we're curry, watching a film with the lads. Oh, okay. Watch a film uh, with the lads. Okay, no, fair oh, enough, cool. fair enough. Thank you, Jackie, for that question. Yeah, thank you. Um, Sorry about that. Also, this who's is picking up that? <laughs> Mate, this is my show. I'm flipping these cards all over the show. Um, right, this is from Sam Pigeon. Great name. Uh, what's your favourite England game you've played in and why? Bill, first. Um... Maybe the France game when we won the Grand Slam. That was a good game. I enjoyed that one. Curry? Um, probably the, the first, the, the Ireland game in Dublin. Good game. It was, yeah, oh, very, yeah, was a good game. Happy. Right, go on. Um, <clears throat> okay, now we're on to some fans' questions from the VT. A few guys have sent in a couple of video questions. So let's hit up the first one. This is, this is Jack. Hi, Billy. I'm eight years old and my dad says that if I eat all my vegetables, I'll become massive like you. Is that true? Vegetables, <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, that, that, that is it. true, it is true. Um, yeah, eat your greens, um, anything. Is that what that you ate? <laughs> 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 you had a green. No, 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 eat your greens. <laughs> anything that's colorful on your plate is, is usually good for you. Uh, probably doesn't taste the best, but um, such is life. You know, I don't like running, but I have to do it. So, <laughs> same goes for your dinner. Fair enough. Next one. Hi, my name is Rowan, age nine. My question is, what's the best thing about being big and what's the worst thing about being big? Probably goes to you. Yeah, <laughs> I think I touched on it already. Um, running is harder for me than it is for some. You know, these boys are gifted with uh, strong legs and big lungs. What's the best thing about being big, though? I get to run over people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, right, we've got one more. This is from Fraser. Hello, my name is Fraser and I'm eight years old. And my question is, what inspired you to be a rugby player? Strong question. <laughs> 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 Not scripted whatsoever. Okay, um, sorry, yeah, let's ask you. Uh, you probably, obviously, when you grow, you grow up watching people on TV, it, it, it is, is big. Um, but it's, I think being a rugby player, just enjoying it, enjoying it at the time, has is, is, is been, is been good. I said good again, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible answer. No, I thought, <laughs> who inspired, like, as in, like, give us a name. Like, what, when no, you watched like, England watch when you were growing up, who, who would you like to see? Johnny Wilkinson, that definitely is the, when you, you were growing up. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <coughs> what about someone from Sale, like, Shaban or? Well, yeah, definitely, but I'm saying, like, on oh, okay. TV, when fair you enough. watching England. Johnny okay. Wilkinson, definitely. Oh, no, fair enough, mate. We'll, we'll stop giving you some heat. Yeah, um, yeah. We'll move on from, from that class answer. <laughs> um, a bit of recovery this morning, lads. What, what, what do we get up to? Um, ice bath. I did an ice bath and then jumped in the jacuzzi. Um, they call it contrast. I don't know why, what the science is behind it, but it's good for your legs and for your body. And um, massages as well. Flush the, uh, the, muscle, the muscles and um, that's about it. It's great. Oh uh, yeah, same as Billy. Massage. Did you get in the hot pod? No, I didn't have a chance. Um, uh, a few, yeah, a few of the lads uh, jumped in the hot pod, a um, bit of uh, what is a hot, pod? hot yoga. Oh, it's just hot like yoga, a, yeah, there you go. It's you might have to stand to it. I'm just trying uh, to bring a, a little value. A big heated tent, uh, do a bit of yoga in that. Lads like to loosen off after a game. Did you do that? No, I didn't, but that's what some of the lads did. I needed him to explain. Um, 
Guys, I know you're going to be gutted, but that's it for today. No! I know. Keep it going. <laughs> no, listen, I know we all want it. I know we all want it, but that's it. That's it. Big Bill's got to go and eat some lunch. Curry's got to go and um, get some chat. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just thank you, thank you very much, Bill. Thanks for joining me, Curry. Thanks very much, mate. This good. has been O2 Inside Line Live. Uh, see you soon. Yes. Oh, yeah.